Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Down to Earth episode 202. I'm sorry, I know I'm a, I'm a week behind on all the reads for Down to Earth. I know they come out every, what, Monday or Tuesday. I can't really record it and like post it in real time when it comes out because my sister does come here and help me out with my baby uh, and she stays in this room so I can't really come in and be like, hey, get out. Let me record unless she's cool with it but she's also a college student she studies in here and i just don't want to be a you know be rude and tell her to get out just so i can record an episode so the only time i have time to record is on the weekend unfortunately especially if my baby is doing okay you know if he's starting to fuss right now i have to stop everything and go and get him anyways let's go ahead and get started You haven't changed. You haven't changed. Stay away from me and my sister. And keep your mouth shut. Or else the past will repeat itself. Kate? You took a while, so we came to check on you. Are you... Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll get back to work now. Uh, that was intense. We should give him space. I didn't even know Cherry had a brother. I'm alright, and I don't need space. Any more space. I think I had enough of that when Zeta moved out. Then, can we ask what that was about? Uh, Cannon and I had a complicated history. Seems like it's not history to him, though. He really stuck in the, in the past. Do I need to remind my sister? That night she called me crying? Uh-uh. And Sherry. If she felt that way about me, why did she... None of this makes any sense. Everything was fine until Cannon got involved. Sherry always stuck up for his sh crappy behavior. Honestly, though, I probably deserved all of this. I wasn't a good person back then. Hey, don't talk like that about yourself. What would Zeta say if she heard you? She can find a positive outlook on anything. I guess I was just hopeful that I could have an old friend back you can i'll talk to sherry and see if i can get all sides to the story i would help but i'm new to all this and i don't want to get involved thanks i'm glad i have you guys at least <gasps> welcome home kate what did she made that looks delicious whoa zay are you Yes, I am much better. So much better, in fact, that I prepared us a delicious dinner. Oh, wow. What are those? Sushi wraps. Susie taught me how to make them. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> These taste incredible. Thank you, Zay. The rice is sticky, so it can be a little messy, but I'm glad you like them. So, did you have any headaches today? Not at all, but what about you? Mm hmm? What do you mean? You know, I scratched you up this morning by accident. Oh, yeah, they don't sting, and Susie covered them up for me today. Oh, that's right. I forgot all about that. Probably from all the canon and sherry drama. Oh! You heard that, didn't you? Mm. Why was Cannon at your place of work? Oh, now that I think about it, why was he at the mall? Oh, well, maybe he was there with Sherry. She was there turning in an application. Sherry wanted to talk about the past. And I didn't want to. I wish you'd understand why it's so hard for me to talk about it. She may always be on Cannon's side, but she was there for me most of the time. I don't want to lose that, you know. I know what you mean. 
Cherry is so fun, kind and fun. If you cannot hang out with Cherry, then I will not either. But that would make me very sad. Ugh. Oh, what's wrong? I just know Ken said something. He persuaded her to question my friendship. Kenan has always hated me. And now Sherry hates me too. Nope. Oh, she got the little rice on his cheek. So, let's see. Hmm. I personally think you should go talk to Sherry. Even if it's a difficult conversation. Yeah. She may have things that's hard to talk about too. Maybe if you talk things over, she can see what you went through and have a better understanding. You're right. And I knew deep down I needed to. I just need to open up to her. Yes. Especially to a friend I've wronged. Ugh. This won't be easy. I don't even know where to start. That is okay. You can start slow. Sherry's not going anywhere. You can practice opening up to me, if you wish. Or maybe talk with someone else who knew you back then. Someone else? Who would be that someone else? Delilah? No, there there was another... Wait. There was another boy in that group, wasn't it? I forgot. Was it that blonde guy? I forgot their name. I forgot his name. I know there was another dude in that friend group. It's been a while. Luke? No. Is it? I'm not good with the names. All right, guys. I mean, that is a valid point. Like, if there is an issue, talk things out. And if the friendship must end, then you guys both can agree on that. One, things, uh, one thing that I do dislike is whenever a friendship of so many years end, I don't like the fact that you just end it through a text, through a phone, or just ignoring each other. It has to be a face-to-face -face conversation Unless, or like FaceTime or something. But you can't just like ignore that person like, well, friendship over. Like, you know, especially if they're, they are your best friend. Like, talk things out. And if it ends, you guys both agree, you know, face-to-face. <sighs> All right, I'm looking forward to the next episode because I wonder what's going to happen next. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!